Today we're going to tag our doors and windows and then we're going to relabel them or renumber and re-letter them using Dynamo scripts. And I have a couple of Dynamo scripts that I'm going to provide to you for free. I'll show you how to, um, how to get those open and how to run them. So with our doors and windows, I use uh, numbers for the doors and letters for the windows. The, the doors are a, a mark, which means they are individual instances and they're uh, they're unique each instance is unique on the windows however uh, where i use the letters i use type marks so the reason for that is that uh, with doors you may have uh, several two four six eights but they're hinged different they swing differently uh, etc um, you may even have a interior door that's say a 2868 then you may have an exterior door that's a 2868 so they're they're specific and they need to be called out individually whereas with windows you may have a 5040 xo you may have several of them they're going to be exactly the same and that's why we use type marks we're able to group those and uh, make it a little easier to kind of sort out so I'm by no means a, uh, a Dynamo expert, but I, uh, I've done enough research to be able to build these scripts. I found the information online, built them myself, and uh, I'm just going to provide them to you rather than show you what I did, because as I said, I'm not an expert, but they're very uh, useful. These Dynamo scripts are very useful, and if you haven't used it before, uh, this is a good introduction to uh, what they can do. and they can do a lot. There's a, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with Dynamo. So as always, I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe. And uh, with all that said, let's jump into Revit and we'll start uh, labeling our doors and windows and running our scripts. So here we are in Revit. This is a, uh, a little project that I'm, that I'm working on that uh, we're just adding a, a porch in the back here. Um, and I, I really don't need to label these doors and windows, but we're gonna, we're gonna do that for, um, for our demonstration today. So we're gonna go to uh, annotate and we're gonna go to tag all and we are going to select our door tags and our window tags. And we're gonna select okay. So there are a few things that we need to do to, uh, to clean this up. You can see that uh, some of our tags, so my tags, these, these are custom tags and I have the actual window size that's showing and you can see there's a question mark here that's where our type mark mark is going to be uh, which is going to be our letter in our case but i want this to uh to run with the window meaning i i want it to be vertical so i'm just going to select that tag and select vertical here and that's going to spin that for me and i would do the same with um with all the other window tags, but that's the only one in our in our case. And then generally, I just come through here and make sure that uh, that the tags aren't overlapping the doors. I just try to kind of clean this up a little bit, just like so. Um, anyway, we'll get to the fun part here. So uh, if you go to manage and go all the way over to the right there's a dynamo and dynamo player we're going to select the player so you can see there's a bunch of scripts all already in here and these are uh, these are scripts that, that come with Revit uh, I myself I keep my my own scripts in a separate folder and so that's what I'm going to do now so when you download the scripts that I uh, that I provide to you and once again those are going to be in the uh, description of the video here and they're, uh, they'll be listed in the uh, uh, Great Canyon store. You'll have to go through the uh, checkout process, but it, it'll be a zero amount, so it's no big deal. So as I open this up, you can see that it's, uh, it's pointing to a, uh, a Revit folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find my Documents folder is where I keep uh, my stuff. I have a Revit folder and then a Dynamo folder and I'm just going to select the folder, select OK and I'll go through the same path real quick through um, 
file explorer so you can uh, so you can see this this is the exact same folder you can see that I have uh, three scripts in here one is the window one is the door renumber so that's what we're looking for once you have these loaded you just click on the play and uh, real quick just notice that there's uh, some numbers in here and they're uh, they start in the 30s and go from there so I'm gonna select renumber it's gonna run that and you can see that it uh, it renumbered them consecutively and there's really no way to control where it's going to uh, where it's going to label them but you can see it started from one side went one two three four five six and then over to the uh, to the right side of the plan and now for our and now for our window renumber same thing just click on the play button button and as you can see it has lettered all of my windows as I mentioned earlier generally I'll just select all these and and uh, get them out of the uh, out of the plan itself so you can read them and uh, so in this case we have two 504 rows we also have uh, two 604 rows so you can see that it it lettered them uh, the same there's two D's there's, there's two B's and if I come over here to my floor plan you can see that everything is in order we have our uh, 1 through 16 our doors and whoops and then our windows uh, so it gives us this is a uh, schedule that I created and uh, so it gives us our our types uh, the size the operation the count and then I have a, uh, a field here so that if if the windows tempered it will show up here then of course if that is uh, does happen to be tempered then it's going to be uh, that's going to create yet a different type mark so we'd, ha we'd have a b c d and e and that's it that's how you renumber and relabel doors and windows in revit with dynamo and that's it for this one thanks for watching uh, again i'd like to remind you to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time thank you